Hey there, John Spitter here. Welcome to my channel where we turn ordinary mouse into a powerful tool of creativity. Today I am happy to show you how to create amazing vector line art in Adobe Illustrator without the need for any fancy equipment. This tutorial is perfect for beginners and anyone looking to explore the potential of vector art. Together we will learn how to trace, draw and refine your photos into stunning artworks. So plug in your mouse, open Illustrator and let's create some magic. We will be using three key tools to make our artwork and the first one is a paintbrush tool. We will start by using this tool to draw smooth clean lines for our line art. And the second one is the pencil tool. This tool is great for sketching freeform lines and shapes, adding a unique personal touch to your artwork. And the third one is the fill tool or the live paint bucket tool which allows you to quickly fill closed shapes with color. When you launch Illustrator, you will be welcomed with this interface. This is what you will see when you launch Illustrator. The first thing you need to do is to set up your canvas. So we are going to click on create new. You can create from a range of uh, document presets here for mobile, for web, for print, for film and video, for art and illustration. But I will just go with a recent canvas that I worked on, which is a 980 by 1080p. Then come to advanced options here and make sure raster effects is set at 300 pixels per inch and click on create so here is your artboard it is created the first thing we will do here is to import the photo that we are going to work on by clicking on file and then click on place and then i will look for this is the one that we are drawing and then click on the center of this artboard and press so you can place your your photo and you need to drag it around the artboard to fit it where you think it should be because we, we just need the, the head we are not going to draw the full portrait what we do is we need to resize by holding down shift and alt and then coming to the edge here when you see this double edged black line you click on it then drag outside while you hold down shift and alt until you resize it properly like this and the next thing is uh, to reduce the opacity of this photo and the reason is normally because uh, later when you draw you you need to at least see your lines you can bring back the opacity when you are coloring so you can see the full colors on the, the lady's face so we reduce the opacity to 70 around here then we can lock this layer and we create a new one here we click on create new and the second layer will automatically be on top here let me rename this one as a photo layer so you know which layer is which and this one will be for line art now that's good so when you go straight away to try to say you want to draw with the paint brush tool you will only get the default brushes which are not good ones to draw with you can draw with this but it will not give you uh, those clean uh, sharp lines with uh, some good edges so we are going to create a new brush and to create a new brush, we will come to line segment tool. It doesn't take time guys, it's just that sometimes when I'm creating the brush, I have to explain along the way. But if you already know how to do it, it takes like 5 seconds to create a new brush and then you get going guys. But let me show you, since it's for beginners, click on this set of tools here, and then click on line segment tool. Then hold down shift while you draw a horizontal line at 0 degrees, like this, this is good. Then come here and we increase the stroke weight to 3 points. Then we come to variable width profile and we choose width profile 1. This one with sharp edges. So our lines will have sharp edges and you can see from here how it's looking. It has changed the ordinary line into this one with sharp edges. Then we come to this dialog box. This is the brush definition box. So we click on new brush here. Then for those of you who have uh, graphics tablets, you can choose calligraphic brush and customize your brush according to your stylus and the pressure sensitivity of your stylus but for us who use mouse we just click on add brush and continue and click ok you can rename your brush or leave it like this but you need to just make sure stretch to fit stroke length is checked here and click ok now our brush is created here let's now go to paint brush tool and click on it then we can see very nice line guys with, with sharp edges this is the one we we'll use to draw our line art guys. So we can delete these lines and then we go straight to drawing the line art guys. Normally I start with the, with the eyes, the, the lips, the ears, 
because these are the most important parts that really need attention to detail. Otherwise, you will mess up everything in your line it will end up looking very different from the photo that you're drawing on. So you have to be careful, guys. These are the parts you have to take some time on. So let's get to drawing, guys. We'll start with this eye on this side. We'll draw. Like this. We will also draw this side. This one is good. And if you want to fine tune your lines, you can always come to direct selection tool. Then you click on the stroke line. And when you click on the stroke line, you will see these white squares. This path, they are called anchor points. When you click on an anchor point, you will see the handles pop up. These are the handles here. You can either click on this handle and then tweak it a little bit according to your liking. Maybe you say this line is bending too much. I want to stretch it like this. It's up to you guys. This is how you find your lines as you go along. So now we continue. We draw the lower shape here. These are the stock lines that will help us later on when we are shading. This is nice. draw down here here and then we draw this dark area using the pencil tool or we can just use the ellipse tool you swap the fill and stroke so the color from the stroke will come to the fill tool here and we can use this fill color to draw this one so hold down shift and alt and then draw this one is good so we can drag it to this other side instead of drawing a new one from here so hold down alt and then click on this shape and drag it here and you will have a copy let's see how it looks we hide the photo layer yes this is good let's draw the eyelashes using the pencil tool the shortcut is N on your keyboard so sometimes i don't necessarily use these tools a lot i don't click on them a lot so if you don't see why i clicked just look down here on this bar. Any tool that I will click on, the name is always written on this bar here. Like I clicked on the pencil tool here, that's written here, pencil. If I click on direct selection tool, the name is written here. If I click on selection tool, every tool here, ellipse tool, everything is always written on this bar. So keep your eye on this one in, in case you don't see where I clicked. So now let's go to drawing the eyelashes, guys. Then we can click on the fill color the black color nice let's see how it looks good we move to the other eye we do the same with the pencil tool we select the fill color which is this black one and it will make the color here black this one is nice we are also going to draw the eyebrows using the pencil tool you select the fill color then we do the same on this side this is nice let's see how it looks this one is good now we go back to our paint brush tool and continue drawing other shapes we will come to the nose here we trace it out. Like this. We draw the shape here. We just follow the shadow outline. This one is good. Let's see how the shape looks. Nice. This is looking good. Then we will draw this shadow under the nose here. With the pencil tool. Click on the pencil tool. And we swap the color back to the fill tool and we draw this dark shadows under the nose yes so that the shape can come out very well and we make it black 
we will do the same on this other side like this then we come down to the lips and we draw Oh, we forgot one thing. We are supposed to draw these lower lashes here. We draw on this side the same way. We just draw these curved shapes to mimic the, the way this hair looks. Nice. It's really looking nice and clean guys. This is how you draw a nice and clean line art from a photo in Adobe Illustrator CC without using any fancy graphic tablet guys using just your computer mouse. You can come up with this professional grade looking vector line art. Stay on the lookout on the next tutorial on how I'm going to color this line art. So make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss on that update. And if you have reached the end of this tutorial, I would like to appreciate your patience and uh, I hope you learned something today. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.